Record-breaking astronaut Scott Kelly is finally coming back to Earth along with his Russian cosmonaut partner Mikhail Kornienko. This evening, the 52-year-old NASA astronaut will wrap up a 342-day mission on the International Space Station. Well, this is the longest stint by NASA on the ISS, and it's the first time ever scientists have focused on the physical effects of long-term spaceflight. Well, the hope has been that studying Kelly and also his identical twin brother, Mark, who is a retired astronaut that was left back here on Earth with the rest of us, will help us to figure out what kinds of challenges astronauts might face when setting out on even longer trips as they will probably one day eventually be journeying to Mars and, of course, beyond. Well, this has been going on for a year. They left in March of last year. It'll be just short of a year, incidentally, that they're coming back. It's going to be a rocky, rough ride. Uh, it's arguably the scariest part of space travel is returning back down to Earth. It's something they're going to be facing uh, later on today. Incidentally, uh, some of the things that Scott Kelly was doing up there, he was obviously taking a lot of photography. Uh, many people have been following him on Instagram, uh, on Twitter as well. Beautiful, remarkable photographs he's been taking on his mission. He also has been uh, learning to use new technologies. He built a greenhouse system up there. Uh, they, they've been growing plants in zero gravity. He's been used to determine how space will affect people's health. So before setting off onto this mission, both Scott and Mark Kelly underwent a series of tests, including MRI scans, on his return, he will undergo further tests. They're going to look at how his biology has changed, how his muscle mass, uh, body tissues have changed. His eating habits have obviously changed so much. And so they even believe that his gut, his internal bacteria system, will have changed dramatically. And also just the effects of living for that extended period of time without gravity in terms of the physical health on one's body. He's going to have a very, very tough time when he lands of adjusting to even just walking back in a system on Earth that has regular gravity as we know it. And he was asked while up there to do two and a half hours of exercise every single day. That amount simply because uh, us men mortals back on Earth walking around every day have to combat the effects of gravity. If you don't have gravity to push against, you're basically not really doing any exercise. And an entire year up there has drastic effects on the body. So is he going to come back fitter? Heart lung fitness is going to be improved, even though he hasn't maybe not be stronger, but is he going to be able to run quicker? The the thoughts are that he might be weaker. He's going to actually have a very tough time adjusting mm. to even walking. As soon as the the spacecraft lands, uh, and it's going to land back in Kazakhstan, incidentally, he'll be escorted, he'll be helped by scientists, taken immediately into lab, and they're going to have to help him uh, to learn how to walk and learn how to adjust wow. to the gravitational pull of the Earth once again. Here are some of uh, the things he managed to achieve while up there uh, floating around the earth in the ISS over the last year. He made wilted flowers bloom. Uh, he paved the way for astronaut farmers to grow their own food on long haul missions. He became a social media maven. He's got over a million followers on Twitter, over a million followers on Instagram, seeing his beautiful photos that he's been documenting. Um, and also he got a phone call and a tweet from President Obama. One last thing though, just about a week ago, he did a, a quite a funny prank uh, which had an appearance on the Colbert Report Report. He dressed up as a gorilla. His twin brother, Mark Kelly, sent him a gorilla suit into space. Uh, much to the dismay of the other astronauts up there with him, he hid in his gorilla suit and pounced on his fellow British astronaut who was up there with him at this time, uh, scaring the living daylights out of him. So some fun and games up there. I imagine it must be a little bit boring from time to time. Obviously, two and a half hours of exercise per day. He also drank an estimated 730 liters of his own sweat and urine. Uh, so so lots of interesting things that Did we're going up Did he have that gorilla there. suit there the whole time? No, his, his brother had it sent to him. They sent it up like a care package. They get sent care packages from time to time. It's okay. the ISS. They have different astronauts coming and going. I see. But these gotcha. two astronauts were there the for, whole time. for the entire time, wow. for the most part of a year. Incidentally, Russian astronauts have stayed in space for longer, but this is the record for an American astronaut. Um, but as I mentioned, he will have a tough journey coming back to Earth. He has incidentally said that he would like, if possible, to stay up there for a few more days. Here's a quote from Scott Kelly himself. 
He said, I could go another 100 days. This is what he said during a news conference that was conducted last week. He said, I could go another year if I had to. It would just depend on what I was doing and if it made sense, although I do look forward to getting home here next week. Well, it might be because of this tough journey he has ahead of him. It's been compared to going down Niagara Falls in a barrel that was lit on fire. So we wish Scott Kelly the best of luck today and we'll be looking forward to the results of his tests and to seeing what impact it will have on future missions into space.